Hello everyone and welcome back to another Navigation 2 tutorial. I'm Nick from Rover Robotics and today I'm going to be showing you Navigation 2 running exclusively on ROS2 Foxy. Here we have uh, us start starting the Navigation 2 stack uh, using uh, Terminal. We're going to start up uh, Slam first using Slam Toolbox. We're going to be visualizing things in RViz2. So you can see things loading up here. We've got our initial map, and we're going to be driving around using a PS4 controller to build out a map of uh, this office area. All right, off to the races. Uh, we're driving around our countertop, building a map. It's going to update every uh, every so often. And what we're looking to do is build build the map of this area so that we can lay down waypoints. Uh, later on and then navigate uh, to those waypoints using AMCL. Alright, so we got a pretty complete uh, map created here of this small area, so we're going to navigate back to the starting point. Here's the PS4 controller that we're using pretty simple controls. This is just for the map creation part. So once we have the map made, uh, we're going to save it using this command here. Uh, th this command sometimes uh, errors out and when that happens to us we just run it a few more times and it almost always works after a, after a couple times. So here we're going to start up uh, AMCL now with a waypoint navigation launch file. This is going to load uh, the map that we just created. Uh, between those cuts we moved the map into the correct folder location and, and edited the launch file in order to point it at that. So once the uh, map is loaded here we just set our initial position on the map using that uh, 2D pose estimate button. Now we're making the laser scans bigger so that you can see how they compare to the map. So that 2D pose estimate can also be set programmatically. Uh, if you have something like a charging dock where you always know where you're going to be starting off, you can just set that in your config files. Now we're going to use the plugin for Navigation 2 to set some navigation goals. Here we're going to set four of them. If you're new to Navigation 2, you can uh, get these buttons by loading the Navigation 2 plugin. You hit that blue plus button in the upper right hand corner to add the button, then you hit panels, add panel to add this lower left hand panel. So after adding those four waypoints, we're going to hit the start navigation button, and that's going to queue up those four waypoints and have the robot navigate autonomously to them in order using AMCL, all done on ROS2 Foxy. No ROS1 is running in any of this uh, any of this code. You can see as it approaches the first waypoint, it's going to slow down and then it's going to match the orientation. It's going to figure out that it's succeeded in getting to that one and then it's going to move on to navigating to the second waypoint. It's going to do the same thing here match position, then orientation. Once it gets to that threshold value, it will deem that a success, and then it's going to move on to the next waypoint. So as you can see, there's um, some jitter to the laser scan noise. Uh, you can see AMCL trying to match uh, those laser scans to the map in order to get the robot's position. And there you have it. Uh, those are four waypoints navigated uh, to autonomously, all done in ROS2 Foxy using the Navigation 2 stack.